Hey, so just going to make an update about this van insulating ordeal. Um, I have uh, the products I'm going to use here. So what they are is uh, the basic headliner. Uh, what it is, is just a bit of polyester foam and uh, you know your fabric material. But the big secret that I've been waiting to show you, this is, uh, it's not a big deal. It, maybe it is. It's uh, closed cell Valera foam. And it's very dense foam. And uh, it's got some sound deadening property to it. And it's very, very warm. I think it's going to do very well. I see this everywhere insulating HVAC stuff. Uh, they use it in marine, uh, you name it. So it's a poly, polyethylene foam. And uh, I think it's a, a lot better, gonna be a lot better than Reflectix. Um, it's, it's, it's firm and uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be in a layer like this um, on the roof so this this black foam will go on first on the roof and then uh, I'll layer the uh, headliner material on top and it's gonna be glued on with the 3M 77 glue I tested it out on this little patch here um, sample patch and it works phenomenal it's even cold outside uh, it's Canada here, it's uh, snowing outside today, and uh, this stuff works good. So I'm going to be doing that in a couple days, and hopefully I'll have some something to show you next time. So I also was going to rant a little bit, uh, in my last video I was bringing the van to the mechanic and uh, to get the pre-safety done. And uh, I'd never gone to this mechanic before, but they they did the propane inspection as well, and um, uh, I needed a, the valuation on on the van done, whatever you call that, for uh, getting the license changed over, so that they can charge us tax on on the used car. That's something new that we have to do here in Canada. But, uh, so I was trying to get all that stuff done all at the same time, and I just, I hate mechanics that you can't trust. Not that they're trying to rip me off or anything, but... The list of, of of all this stuff, if if you were to pay, if you were to pay them full pop to get all the deficiencies covered, they were going to charge me fifty three hundred dollars. That's Canadian dollars, but that's a lot for a van that I paid less than that for. It's ridiculous. So. I'm doing everything that I can, uh, everything that's on this list. Um, stuff like, I made a list of tail lights, the front turn signal lenses, uh, windshield washer motor, squealing belt, uh, the, there's a drag link in the front steering, the tires, Tires are expensive. I uh, gotta do an oil change. He wants the front wheel bearings adjusted, so I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Um, the rear brakes need to be um, cleaned up, I guess. They also found a broken exhaust manifold bolt. And 
uh, one of the freeze plugs is leaking water, so I'm gonna learn how to do that. Uh, but the one thing about this old van that is making this whole process of getting it certified really difficult is the front turn signals. They are so hard to come by. So I've been searching around on eBay and um, the parts suppliers online, carpart.com, and there's half a dozen places in Canada, but they're all on the west coast, like 3,000 kilometers away from here, uh, uh, wrecker yards that have those. And uh, I, I thought about it, I can get both of them, but I don't want a chance paying good money and get them and they're cracked as badly as the ones on here and the mechanic doesn't pass it. So I came up with a new plan. <laughs> um, this is a good idea for anybody with an old Dodge like this in the same situation. Those turn signals are very similar to the Dodge Ram 50 small pickup truck. Um, if you look them up, they're same shape, they're just a little bit shorter, and what I'm going to do is cut out uh, the old turn signals and, and fit those in. They're, I can get them brand new, the, because these are discontinued on this van. This is an 87 Dodge B250, they don't make them anymore. They started making aftermarket rear tail lenses, which I'm gonna have to get one of those, but they're not making the front turn signals yet, so. Anyway, that's the update, my little rant there. Don't get scammed by mechanics. Try and do as much work as you can yourself. Um, keep your money in your own bank, and probably gonna do all the work to certify it for like three or four hundred dollars worth of parts so yeah anyway have a good one bye